Inferno here on my way to the Ohio Media School for class tonight. Uh, a lot has happened lately. More so during this process since I uh, enrolled. Things are moving really fast as far as the whole chasing my dream aspect of it all. The shit ain't for the weak hearted. Uh, chasing your dreams are is expensive, risky, stressful, all the above. Um, it's not just you that's affected, it's everybody around you, everybody that cares for you, people that hate you, especially them. Pay them no mind. Uh, what I'm really trying to get at is I still don't know exactly. I'm not going to put a label on what it is that I'm doing. A lot of people are asking me, what are you doing? What is it you're trying to do? What are you? Are you a comedian? Are you a journalist? You know, a <laughs> producer, director, whatever. Journalist, did I already say that? <laughs> I be smoking sometimes thing is I've, I'm excited about all of it everything I'm I'm doing I, I I'm everywhere but I know you guys will help me put it together the other day I had a conversation with a really close friend of mine it was Memorial Day and I wanted specifically for sure to be with this man he is a army veteran combat medic hero man a true hero Somebody you would look at in line right now and, and you would pay no mind to. And that's disrespectful to me. Because I know what the dude's been through. You know what I mean? Everybody's out here bickering back and forth about what it is, what it means to them. When somebody disrespects or kneels or says or does anything about your patriotism, your country, your this and that. What did you sacrifice, motherfucker? What did you do? Right? The people that go through this shit. They're not alone, you know what I mean? Nobody takes the time to think about all of that. When you see somebody that the judge a book by its cover, at, it's, it's ridiculous. You just look at somebody and think you just know what they're all about. You have no clue. I think we all do know that, and it is hard for everybody to just see everybody's path. So you kind of just overlook it, but that shit, that shouldn't be the way. I don't even know what I'm just <laughs> still getting at. What I mean to get at, though, is everybody asks me, you know, what, what are you, what do you do, you comedian, this, that. I am, I am we, man. I am us, I am not myself. Everything that I've done, succeeded at, accomplished, any, everything that people hate me for, love me for, it's not myself. I am pieces, little pieces of all of you. All the people I love, you know who you are. All the people that hate me, you know who you are. Whether you like it or not, You've helped me out in ways. Anybody who's ever interacted with me, period, gave me time or not given me time. That butterfly effect has sent me in certain directions, you know what I mean? You know. And I, for one, am the, am the type that has always paid attention to that thing. I've gravitated toward it directly, not subconsciously. I think I've just been dropped on my head the perfect amount of times. <laughs> It's just, I don't know, I feel things. People that know me know that, you know what I mean? I feel shit. I used to hide that from people because I didn't want them to think I wasn't tough or whatever, which is fucking stupid. And uh, that's a good thing, man. That's a bonus. That helps me out. That helps me. That's why so many people, I guess, don't mind having me around because I'm, I'm genuinely trying to help people, man. 
just be a good dude. <laughs> and I don't, I, it confuses me when other people just ain't, you know what I mean? I'm childlike in that when I, when I walk into a room and nobody's vibing. Like, what the, what the fuck is going on? Let's cheer up, people. It's not that serious. I can say that without that smirk you're doing right now. Fuck you mean it's not that serious. You ain't got ask me about problems, bro. Check my record. Anybody. We all have problems. We all go through it. So why not focus on something positive? Break that cycle. It has to be together is what I'm getting at. The thing is, that me, I'm not me without all of you. And neither are you, man. And that not asking for help or not that posture, trying to be stoic, tough, bullheaded, ignore certain people for whatever reason, the way they look, the, you know, the clique they're in. You're missing out on so much. So much. It's just, it's, uh, it's a waste. People claim to be smart out here. You're all so fucking smart. Why ain't you trying to learn from each other? Figure shit out. That negative, that back and forth bickering between each other is hindering both of you. Both sides from progression. So, figure that out, fucking genius. It's a hard sell. I'm not trying to sell anything. I'm just venting. But I say all that to say this. This path I'm on has been amazing. I'm not going to stop. It's just really getting started. I have a lot of people to thank along the way, man. So many I'm going to try my best. My best friend, Matt Robinson. This shit all started... <laughs> Dude, what? Fifth, fourth grade, we actually spoke it, said it was gonna happen, said we were gonna do this. It's happening, brother. Uh, kind of wanted to be a comedian. I, I didn't care, really, just entertainment. Entertaining people. Setting the vibe, man. It's what I do. So join me or don't. I'm on that path. It's happening. There's a show I plan on starting. Another another good friend of mine, Chris. Chris Morgan. Sorry, I was checking out to see if I might be getting pulled over. Chris Morgan, One Eye Jacks. Uh, we're gonna. I've already started trying to do this a uh, a show called The Art of Civil Dis Disobedience. nothing vulgar about it. I just want to sit down with, with cool people, man, and just have open, honest conversations with inspiring people. No specific topics, just chop it up, man. Two friends hanging out. Just to show people what happens when random people actually connect with smiles on their faces. Nobody's trying to be the tough guy or the big pecker in the room or the smart guy. Just shut the fuck up and listen. You find something out. You learn something. That's how I know and do all the stuff that I do that people claim to admire. Is I've picked it up from all these other cool people along the way. I'm just pieces of you. So thank all of you. Matt, Chris, my wife especially, my daughter Freya, my mom, my dad, grandparents, my brother, my cousin Doug. Jason Collins today <laughs> hooked me up. He contributed to the cause, man. Personally, went in his pocket and bought me some some equipment for my, my software so I can edit these videos a little better. Not this one, I'm driving, but when I get to school. Uh, all my friends, man. Howie, Dustin, Spanky, there's so many, Colt, Zach, Ryan Maley, he's out there in San Diego, I know you'll see this, Jock, the monk, the badass monk, Kung Fu is strong with Jock, check him out, please, 
the Meditation and Mindfulness Institution for Humans out in San Diego with Ryan Maley. I've already sent everybody all those links. I, I think I'll check. I'll do it in this again. They're good people with genuine intentions. If you don't believe me, find out for yourself. Oh, man. My teachers. <clears throat> Liz Schneider, sorry. You're one of us, man. I can't forget you. You're one of us without the uh, equipment. West side till we die. Todd, your, your older brother, Todd. You're, man, my guy. I love all of you, man. Everybody, I can, There's so many to name. Everybody I've ever... You know who you are, man, all of you, everybody. A special shout out right now though to uh, my good friend Kent Baker. The first person to ever give me like a solid opportunity for no fucking reason other than my character that he remembered from middle school, the butterfly effect, man. Treat people how you want to be treated, and uh, and it works. Kent is one of the best human beings there is. His whole life is a blueprint for how to live right, do the right thing. He didn't party too much. He mingled with all the right people. Didn't didn't abuse things. Didn't smoke cigarettes. Didn't didn't drink too much. Was a was a. I, 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 don't get me wrong, some kind of law enforcement, I want to say state trooper, state highway patrol, or sheriff department, something along those lines. Just wanted to help people, a good man. Uh, wound up not liking that, going somewhere else for a while, I believe it was a uh, utilities company, let's just say that, for a while. Good job, benefits, all that, you know what I mean? Wasn't this thing, then he wanted to do his own thing. That, I've watched it since school, man, that was always an inspiration, man. I, I looked up to Kent. I still do. He's, he's one of the best humans on the planet. Thank you, Kent. Uh, he's, he's going through some stuff. And right before all this started, he gave me an opportunity. And we talked a lot about the things that he was going through with, with what's going on with him. And he mentioned how, you know, then he, he, he never felt like he wasted his life because he always did these things that I speak on, how he lived right, he did good things, put out good vibes. And then, you know, when he had a family, he had a little boy and a little girl, beautiful wife, nice home. He was always out doing, providing, but being a good man, you know, but making good relationships, but he was away from home. But in his heart, and like any man's heart and mind, when you're away from home, the things that make your hands dirty, every beat, every beat of sweat that runs down my face has with it a smile. Because I know that my daughter is at home getting fat and comfortable, along with the rest of my family, my, son, my stepson, and my wife, and our family, everybody. But he know he felt the absence, you know what I mean, and uh, it, made, it made me think, you know, am I really chasing my dream, or am I really doing the right thing if I'm just making my family comfortable, you know what I mean, if I'm not there, if I'm not present, if I'm not smiling, if I'm not showing my kids really what's in here, and that came from you, Kent, that day, that day sparked along with a lot of other great people, Ryan, Richard Earl Lonsberry, all of you guys, like I say, one of my videos kind of vibrated into my life, tuned in, that frequency just kicked in, and here you guys are saying these things to me, giving me these nuggets, these pieces of yourselves, me, who am I, who the fuck, that's who I am, I'm, I'm all of these people, their kind gestures that's what I want to be anyway and that's the message that's the whole intention of it all the whole idea behind the art of civil disobedience so come sit down with me if you got a story to tell I'll reach out and and if I don't reach out reach out to me 
Ngap-ngapak ya. 